Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Synth Master 2 and we're going to make a, a quick patch from scratch using uh, wavetable synthesis. Okay, and the wavetable uh, I'm going to be choosing from is from Echo Soundworks and I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and grab, I think there's over 400 wavetables in there and you can get them for free and then you can use them to make uh, sounds in any synth that will take wavetables. And of course, Synth Master 2 is one of those. So um, it's one of many synth engines, basic additive wavetable vector and audio in uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you can even do kind of FM with these mods, but we're going to be talking about the wavetable synthesis. Now, there will be a link in the description as well. And also a card will pop up at some point during the video with a link to uh my full tutorial series for programming synth master but we're going to take a look at wavetable synthesis so first of all i'm going to click on here where it says ld vib so click on this <clears throat> and just choose initial preset okay and this is more or less a fresh install of a synth master so pressing this now we just get this saw wave here so sawtooth basic and it's got two layers and we're using oscillator one on layer one so the first thing we want to do here is when it says type, we tap on this and go to wavetable. And then where it says custom wavetable here, we click on this and we're going to import wave files. OK, so you've got some wavetables already included. It get loads, actually. So, you know, but we're going to import one. And I have in audio share you'll see that there's this folder and it says uh, wavetables. It's down the bottom here somewhere. Wavetables. And this is the Echo Sounds wavetable. So I'm going to just choose one from, say, um, vocal. These are all wavetables, by the way. Spectral, synth, one shots, growl instruments. Choose one from vocal, open this. And choose any, it really doesn't matter, uh, this one. And it will load. Well, it'll ask you where you want to put it. So I'm going to put a um, new folder here and I'm going to call this folder TSTR and I go OK. And then I've got a couple of folders here called this, but I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to hit import. And there is my wavetable. Now I'll be able to use it any other time as well. So this is what it sounds like. And if we use the index here, we can scan through the wavetable. And you can see the position at the top here. I want to change that wavetable. I don't think it's got enough range. So again, I'm just going to import wave files. I'm going to go back to <clears throat> chill, maybe double tap on this, maybe choose this one. And let's see what we've got here. Not a blinking wavetable. There it is. I'm going to choose import and there it is and now do the index that's much better so <clears throat> excuse me so what we're going to do is start to manipulate this sound obviously so what we're going to first do is switch on filter one and i'm going to change this to vintage analog because i like that one I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit for layer one. And where it says voices, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this to three. So basically, all that's done is made it louder. And what we're going to do now is go to our oscillator section. Just adjust the high cut a little bit. Cool. Go to voices now. And this is where we can start to spread out those three voices we've just put in. So let's turn the volume down a little bit. So it says pan spread. If you're listening through headphones, which I suggest you do. And then we'll do Okay. 
Now we've got a much wider sound. Let's do something with this first ADSR. So let's increase the release. Turn the volume down a little bit. That's already quite a nice sound, so you could save that if you wanted to. It's got kind of a piano -y vibe, but it's not really doing anything movement-wise. So I'm going to leave it the envelope as it is at the moment. I'm going to go to LFO here. And we're on LFO1, but if we long hold this, we have four LFOs. But we're going to choose LFO1, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up. So tap and hold and drag this onto where it says index. And now our LFO is modulating this. So I'm going to move the phase. And I'm going to slow it down. And I'm also going to attach this LFO to the pan spread as well. So I'm going to put this on the pan spread as well. Just for a little bit of extra movement. So just the long hold in this chord, maybe speed it up a little bit. Okay, so that's nice. So again, we'll go back to our ADSO. So I want kind of more of a, a pad type sound. So I'm going to increase the attack. Go back to another LFO, so I'm going to open this and hit LFO2. And what we're going to do is assign LFO2 to the cutoff frequency. So again, just tap here and then we can drag it around. I'm going to slow it right down. spread up a little bit very nice now last thing I, I need to do what because you can carry on in I mean I'm just doing this with one layer but you could go to Say oscillator two now, switch that on and start again and, and do something else. Maybe we just quickly do that, but let's put some effects in now. So, okay, I'll choose this slot and go with a reverb. Choose this slot and I will put in for now a, a lo fi. Lo fi is really nice. So, I'm going to switch lo fi off just for a sec. So, now I'm going to go back to reverb. quite low because I'm going to use this hear this nice tube saturation that's fine I'm going to turn the modulation amount up on the reverb speed down increase the size and the time because we want it to be huge you know let's 
saturation. Now, let's look at the lo-fi, turn lo-fi on. Very quickly, we've built this really lush pad from a wavetable. So let's turn off layer one and quickly uh, make something for layer two. And again, what we'll choose are wavetable synth and go custom wavetable. We'll import a wave file again. And this time we'll choose something slightly different. I guess we could go with spectral. Just choose, I don't know, one of this. And let's just see if I can make my TSTR come back. I'm going to import it into this folder. So I'm on layer two now. I should have chose just oscillator two. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. I'm going to switch filter on. Give it some of that drive. Pitch this one up. really difficult to it's one octave and we're nearly there there we go pitch that up one octave compared with right so again we can start to let's listen to the let's just turn that down a little bit Oh, that's quite, that's got quite the range. So again, we'll go with LFO one. Now don't forget we're on layer two now. So totally different sin. And we'll drop that onto there. And we'll turn the volume down of this. So it's less of a range. Now you'll notice that on both of these, watch this retrig now. It resets at the beginning of the wave. I don't want that. So I'm going to turn this to global. And now what will happen is wherever I'm pressing the key, it will just carry on scanning through. And while I think about it, I'll go back to layer one and also choose this. Uh, the trigger mode for the LFO to also be global so that when we bring this back in, all it will do is scan through slowly. And every time I lift it or depress a key, it'll... So let's go into our effects for this and really drown this with reverb as well. Loads of mod. ADSR is important with this one, so loads of attack. Now let's bring back in layer one. I don't like that pitch detune. I'm going to reset there. I, what I could have done is just set the pitch here to maybe uh, minus one octave might be better. So minus one octave with. Now 
now there'll be a lot of movement on layer two let's add in a, maybe a chorus this time there you go when you're done hit save up here and go save preset as and i'm going to make a new bank so new bank i'll just call it tstr and go okay and then preset name uh let's call it wave table pad one and hit save and there you see it says wavetable one pad one <laughs> and of course you could if like at any time you can change the wavetables out and get like a kind of a different vibe going on it's nice Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a Patreon. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all later. Awesome stuff. Working with wavetables with Synthmaster 2. Real easy stuff. Nothing complicated. Uh, adding a few uh, LFO destinations and targets and stuff like this. And tons of reverb for that kind of ambient, spaced out vibe. See you guys later. Ta-da.